Good morning, good morning. What's up, Fab City? What's going on? Good morning, good morning. What are you grateful for this morning? What are you grateful for this morning? I am grateful this morning for listening to my heart. I am grateful this morning for listening to my own heart. And we are going to get into today. Good morning. Good morning. I'm so, so happy you are here. Those of you that don't know me, I am Taisha. I'm a health and mindset coach, right? Started out as a personal trainer, but then I realized it's so much deeper than that especially as um, you're working with women. So I've been working with women for about 12 years now. Um, started out as a personal trainer, and then I just wanted to go deeper and deeper and deeper. And um, here I am, here I am, loving what I do, empowering women, encouraging them to look within, wake up, become self-aware, become conscious, right? To seek God, to take their power back and control over their lives and make decisions that serve you. So that is who I am and that is what I do, right? So I'm thankful this morning. I'm thankful this morning for listening to what's in my heart and not allowing others to make decisions for me. You know what it's like when you let others decide for you. You know what it's like when you've wanted to do something and you didn't do it because someone else's opinion threw you off track or they didn't agree or they decided that it wasn't a good thing, right? And I'm sharing this with you because yesterday if you were on, you know that um, I have a teenage son and I decided to get him some counseling and, and I have to say in Latin families, right? Black and Latino families, it's like kind of like you don't do that. You don't need that. It's nonsense. Get out of here, right? Um, my grandmother would have definitely been, that would have been a no, no. Um, it's just this tradition and this taboo that we're good without it. And I share this with you because yesterday as I, as I, um, moved forward with that decision and got him to sit with somebody, um, the first thing I heard from someone else's mouth was he's good. He don't need that. He doesn't have mental health issues. And that was my family. And I'm thinking, he doesn't have to have mental health issues. And the one thing I want to make clear is that if you are seeking help for your child, that you make that clear to them that you're not doing it because they have mental health issues, right? You don't want to make them feel like they have these mental health issues. You just want to make them feel like you love them so dearly and so powerfully that you want them to be happy. Point blank, end of story, right? Because they're going through things. So it's like, I'm not taking you there because you have a problem. I'm taking you there because I want you to be happy. And in order to be happy, you have to self-express. Good morning, good morning. You've got to self-express. you got to find activities, hobbies, things that you love. You have to be connected with other people. And I know a lot of our kids and plenty, many of us are introverts. And hey, that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. But you, you've got to know that communication is good for you. It is okay. It's needed, right? Um, it benefits you. Like... These are the things that are going to help you to grow as a person. I'm not seeking help for you because you have a problem, because you have mental health issues. No, I'm seeking this for you because you're a human and you need self-expression and you just need somebody to talk to, you know? And talking to your parents, you're going to feel judged. They're going to cut you off. You're going to feel all kind of issues. So that's why we're seeking help. And I say this because as I took that step to seek help, there was a voice, a real human voice. That was like, um, Ty, he doesn't need that. Just because they saw him laughing throughout the day. Don't let anyone else make decisions for you. And that's what I'm grateful for today. Making decisions for myself. What I think is right. And I thought to myself, how dare you rob a child of such a great opportunity that could lead them to resources and new friends and new environments because you think it's not necessary. Don't rob other people of life-changing things because you decide at the moment that it's extra, it's too much, we're pushing it, we might be making this look like a problem. It won't look like a problem if you're a great communicator, if you know how to sit down and address what's going on 
from your heart if you know how to communicate and say, this is why I'm doing this for you. And the problem is that many of us don't know how to communicate. And when we don't know how to communicate, it seems like what we're doing has no meaning behind it. And as a mother, as a father, as an uncle, as an aunt, there's lots of meaning. I know there's lots of heart why you want to seek help for somebody you love. You have to learn how to communicate that because if not, they don't see the value in it, right? The, the child won't see the value. The child will just say, you want to stick me in a room with somebody to talk about things that I don't need to talk about. I don't want to talk to them. And my son was resistant, right? He says, I don't, I don't want to talk to him because it was just the first meeting is family meeting, getting to know the second one, which I booked because ain't nobody going to tell me not to. I booked it on Monday for 5 p.m. He says, I don't want to talk to him. And I said, I get that. I said, but you will take yourself in the room. You will give yourself that opportunity. You will say yes to yourself. You will sit down. And I'm paying for an hour, but hey, if you decide in 15 minutes that you are done, then you are done. But you will take that step and you will go there. And the reason why I, I, I'm so strong-headed about that is because many of us have done that. We didn't want to do something. We didn't want to say something. We didn't want to go somewhere. When we got there, it was a different story. You got to meet somebody you like that happened to me. Many times I'm like, oh, um, I'm in my comfort zone. I don't feel like driving out. And I happen to meet somebody amazing. I happen to learn something life-changing, right? I happen to hear somebody else's story that made me feel like, wow, I should be grateful. So I will do that for my child as well. Put them in that position. You don't rob them. So I say that you are there because many of us are feeling like we need to get there. You are there right now. Many are waiting for the moment. I need to get there. I need to, you're there right now. It's all on a decision that you make. But right now you are here. And here is where it happens. Here and now is where things are happening and changing for you but you have to make a decision and when you don't decide you don't feel there you don't feel here you feel like i still need to get there i still need to get there decide you are there and yesterday i decided in my mind that my son was taking counseling regularly i decided that he loved it in my mind i decided that it benefited him i decided that he met new friends that he was in a youth program i decided that this male mentor just became like a, a you know a, a lifetime mentorship for him that he learned that i decided i was there now what i wanted to see i'm not trying to get there i'm here right now in my mind right in my mind's eye and i'm telling you that this helps and this is why i want this for you because this goes for anything this goes for a job that you want this goes for a relationship that you and this goes for a child you're trying to get this goes for a, a friendship Everything that you want, that you're trying to get there now, you are here now. You are there now. And yesterday I was like, while that voice from the other family was telling me, oh, you're crazy. Like, this is, you don't got mental health issues. Why would you do that? Or why would, don't do that. Like, he's good. He's good. No, you don't decide that he's good until we put him in a good space, in a good environment, in a good situation. In my mind, he is good because I got it figured out here, right? But of course, God knows has the biggest plans. Things happen. But it's not about sitting back and waiting to get there. Many of us will wait. We'll, we'll wait for that husband to change. We'll wait for that child to change. You know, maybe he's too young and he's just, his mind. You know, I was like that when I was 15. We say all these things and we make all these stories up in our mind. Like, It'll change. And I, no. You decide that right then and there, things are going to be the way you want them to be. And how does that happen? You take action. You take a action. You make a decision. You say a word. You do and say something that allows you to realize that you don't have to wait to get there, that you're already there. And that is the most powerful thing. And I know that God gives me the power for that, to th even think like that, to take that kind of action, to not listen to others and still make decisions that seem wrong to others, but because they feel right in my heart, because I believe in yeses, I believe in opportunities, I believe in power, I believe in community and environment, I believe in awareness, because I believe in all of those things, I will be there now. 
And that is the most powerful thing I can share with you. And if you can take your own situation, whatever you're going through, whatever it is that you're chasing, that you're wanting, that it is here now. It is here now. You have to just decide that. Like when I woke up this morning, I'm going to share a journal prompt with you. The, the first one is, how do I want to feel today? And I decide that now, today, wrote it out, how I want to feel today. I don't think about, you know, oh, what's going to happen today or how will my day be? Am I going to have a good day? Am I going to make decisions, you know, good ones? Am I going to take action? Am I going to help my kids see the light and stop being such whatever, you know, you feel that they are at the moment? We all have many names. Um, no, that does not happen because when you wake up, you decide because you're here now, you decide, you take the action. And when you're sitting there and you're making these decisions, you need to ask yourself, what is the action that I need to take? And, and, and I say this to you because as I sat there and I decided that my son needs somebody to talk to because he just does, right? I'm like, what's the action that needs to be taken? He's, he's going to talk to me, but not really talk to me the way I want him to really talk and express himself. What's the action I'm going to take? So I'm going to share a website with you all, especially if you have children. Good morning. Good morning, beautiful. It is called psychologytoday.com. And I found a therapist there, and he happened to be faith-based. He happened to be Christian. You know, he's a male. Um, he has a youth and he has a youth program. His wife runs a woman empowerment group. Like I just knew it was a no-brainer that for me to find that website, like God is just so strategic. He's just so bomb, right? I'm gonna be visiting the church this Sunday for the very first time. Um, but the website is psychologytoday.com, and I put that on here. And like I said, it's not only for children, it's for single, for couples. There's a bunch of different, you put your zip code in, and there's, you know, you find someone that you wanna talk to, even if you pay for one session. But the whole point is that whatever you want, it is here now. So I need you to make decisions. I need you to stop thinking about all the things that you need to do to get there, to get there, to get there. It's all here. Everything you do right now, it, 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 it's going to make it happen for you. And don't allow others to make decisions for you, even when they disagree. Yesterday, I had a lot of disagreement against me, even coming from the husband. You know, like, I don't think that we should do that. And it was not only him. <clears throat> um, somebody else in my family had something to say. And it was just like, and, and when you feel that pressure, you got to be strong enough to be like, everybody, back up. Back up because I'm doing something that nobody has done in my family, but now I see why. Y'all carry tradition, taboo, y'all have these thoughts around it, but I'm gonna be different. And that's what God wants us to do, right? He wants us to break these chains. He wants us to, to be generation breakers. He wants us to do a new thing. He wants us to, to see the problem, to ask for help and take care of it. Don't rely on how everybody else used to take care of the problem. Don't wait to get there, to get there, to get there. Be there right now. So I love you all. I want you to have an amazing, amazing, powerful, fabulous, blessed Thursday. I want you to know that you have the power within to decide to make things different, to make things better. And you don't have to wait to get there, to get there, to get there. You do this right now. You do this in your mind. You do this in a conversation with God. You do this when that pen touches that paper. You do this right now. And I guarantee you that everything you want will manifest and you will have the life that you want. You will see the joy in your kids and your family. You can restore your marriage. You can restore your relationships, your friendships, your finances, anything that you want. But you've got to be diligent about this. You have to be focused and you've got to be committed. You've got to be committed to God and you've got to be committed to the way that is the right way for you and in your heart to bring you where you need to be. So I love you all. Yes, that is the website. I think so. No, I think the spelling is a little wrong there. I'm not too sure, but I'm going to post it here. I'm going to post it for y'all. I love y'all. Have an amazing, amazing day. Um, and I will see you here right back here tomorrow morning at 930.